All right, so the tea with Crystal, y'all. It's so much that I have wanted to talk about this past week, but haven't gotten around to recording. Let me put on some of our lip gloss. I don't even know which way I want to go right now. Let me put on some Ava. I say Ava. I don't know why I'm saying Ava. Ava clear gloss. Um, when I was thinking about naming this gloss, still got the smell. When I was thinking about naming this gloss, um, I wanted to sound like Are We Clear, but I don't know, Ava Clear. It's not even going to sound like that. But I'm trying to name a gloss after my one of my daughters since we're the four glitter girls. And I have four girls. Um, so eventually I wanted to name three um, have glosses named after them. But right now we have, so this is the Ava clear gloss. It was something I made. I'm playing around with tints, like, so I'm still learning that. And obviously this one does not have, like, you can see the little pinkish tint in the brush, which I don't want it to do that because it's like the brush is picking up the pigment, but then the color of the gloss is like a yucky looking now that I've been using it, but yeah. So, anywho, I wish I could move this thing where it's not so like, let me see if I can move this. Hold oh, please. I guess I can't move it. I feel like I look so low and there's so much camera left up top, but anyway, so, um, let me put on my seatbelt, safety first. I got so much tea that I want to talk about and I just don't be knowing where to start. I feel like I'm backed up. Like, I need to get the, the videos out. Anyway, um, but I'm just I just be asking God for like a sound mind, clear mind because I got so much going on and so many decisions need that I need to make and I don't want to make them from like a very fleshly place like I want to make decisions with the guidance of the Holy Spirit <laughs> so based off of the scripture in 1st Timothy God did not give us a spirit of fear but a power love and a sound mind and so I was on a challenge by E.T. Eric Thomas called the how bad do you want it challenge it was like five days and it was so good um and they talked about so much stuff, like so many good nuggets on there. And I actually paid for the VIP. And y'all, I'm a person, like, if I look at my bank account, I, I be like, I ain't got it. But when it comes to sowing seeds just for what I'm believing in in my future, I'm going to sow. Okay? So, I, had, I went ahead and paid for the VIP um, after I had joined the challenge on the second day. And, um... It was so good. I was like, let me hop in this VIP and see what they talking about for this extra hour over here. And it was so worth it. So I got to go back and watch all the replays. Um, but Eric Thomas talked about that. Um, you know, like, um, gosh, was, I lost my thought, y'all. But it's all good. But anyway, that leads me to talking about proximity. And so I remember... Like, I had never been a person to really watch E.T. too much. Um, but my friend of mine, she invited me to go to his, um, it's like a church service. He do it on Saturdays. And we went last month, or did we go in September? I think we went to, we went. I think last month, October, it was, or the last week of September, and um, it was so good, and we got to take a picture with him, and like, what I recognize is that I have been praying for, like, proximity, that God will begin to connect me with people that I need in the season that I'm in, because I feel like I have been planting 
so many seeds and I'm just like ready for harvest but I know I'm in a position where the seeds need to be watered and so there's a scripture in the Bible that says um, I don't even have my other phone I got my iPad over there but obviously I can't get to the scripture right now but there's a scripture in the Bible that says oh y'all don't somebody plants the seed somebody waters it but it is God who brings the harvest y'all I think that's what like that's the gist of what the scripture says and so obviously that was two different people somebody planted the seed somebody watered it but God brings the harvest right and so I recognize like over my years like you know I've really been working on my language and the way that I speak life or death the way that I pray even about asking God the right questions and so I realized like where I am right now I'm learning to ask the right questions of like God I've been planting so many seeds but why haven't I reaped much harvest I may reap just a little bit and the little bit is like that first little sprout that comes out of the ground it's not like a full-blown field of <laughs> like what I've been planting and so it's kind of like, Lord, I'm tired of like getting a taste of, you know, my of harvest and like what my life should look like. I needed to, I want harvest. And I know I played a part in that because I like, I haven't been cultivating the seed. Maybe I plant the seed and, and quit so I don't go back and tend to it or I don't tend to it in the way that it should or I don't go to God and be like, God, you, you know, bring the harvest in this or whatever. But, um, Proximity has definitely been a thing because I know that I need to be in community and around people who are actually moving forward, who are being successful. I got to get out of communities where people are on like the same level as me. So say they're just starting or they're like uh, trying to build or whatever the case may be. Like I can't always be in community with those type of people. Um, I also realized that I had to like change my mindset a little bit um, because I realized that if I was in community with people I was trying to save them in some type of way and what made me realize that is I was watching this therapist on YouTube and she talks a lot about trauma and codependency and so because I became aware of the fact that I was dealing with codependency and I'm 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 like Lord deliver me <laughs> um she mentioned something about when you are codependent you are trying to save people right and so when people talk about codependency there what I've learned is that people talk about it according to like people who are dealing with um relationships of people who are dealing with addiction but this is just life period like you can apply this to any part of your life but I realized that I was a codependent and I was like Lord I thank you for the awareness because I don't want to be a codependent I just don't <laughs> deliver me <laughs> so um God sends messages right on time okay so I she was talking about um how when you're a codependent you try to save the person who is addicted or dealing with the addiction you try to save them and I realized as a person who is um I've been that person I've been that person I'm definitely trying to get myself out of that because I in any relationship where you get with somebody that is like they are trying to make their way up or they're trying to build or they may show the slightest tendencies of needing to be rescued if you're not aware of what you're dealing with and what you're being delivered from or what you're trying to get through 
you will try to save that person because that person is like rescue me i need your help and so you because you want to feel needed as a codependent you will put yourself in a position of like oh this person needs me and i need to try to save them i need to try to do what i can to help them get out of what they're going through and so i realized that i would put myself in positions like that where i would find relationships where i wanted to feel needed or needed people to need me and I don't want to be in that no more because that doesn't water my seeds, right? So when I was wondering why my seeds were being choked out, because it's the scripture in the Bible about that too, where your seeds is being planted upon different grounds. And so you got the ground where your seed just falls on the ground and the birds come get pick up the seeds and you got the seeds that's being choked out by the weeds. And then you have the seeds that, um, gosh, what's the other one? And that's in, I believe, Ecclesi Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes, the, the ECC word. <laughs> um, but anyway, and then you got the seed that is sown on good ground. I'm going somewhere with this, y'all. Um, and I guess this is what I'm supposed to be talking about since I got so much I want to get out. <laughs> um, and you got the seed that is sown on good ground, right? And then it brings 30, 60, 100 fold and so i'm like lord i've been planting so many seeds over the years i know that there are seeds that has been choked by weeds there's the like the cares of the world and i know there are seeds that has been you know just falling on but on the ground and couldn't catch root and then the birds come pick it up but now i'm ready for my seeds to fall on good ground and i want the 30 60 100 fold like lord that's what i'm ready for so what is required for me to get that and so with that being said that's when i started to pray for proximity and start to be in community with people and have like this crazy faith to meet people because i've done it before like i've been i've met people because my seeds were like starting to flourish like and my crop was starting to be seen, if y'all get what I'm saying. So anyway, I say all of that because I started watching E.T. Like, E.T. just started coming up on my, like, first from my friend when she invited me to the event. And then once she invited me to that, it was like he just started coming up everywhere. <laughs> and I started to watch some. She had sent me some of his videos. And then we went to the event. And we got to take a picture with him. And so I'm like, oh, that's, that's it right there. And then so I... I even sold um, a seed in his ministry and um, and I believe that you know even paying for VIP I sold again why because and sold into myself why because I know as I do things like that and I have faith in it and not be like oh I can't because this is all the money that I have or oh I need this money for this or that I have to know that um it's going to return to me, right? As I sow the seed, it's going to be returned. And so putting myself in proximity so my seeds can be watered. So even if I didn't get to talk to ET directly, that was me putting myself closer, like putting myself in proximity by paying for VIP. I wasn't with the crowd anymore, but I put myself another step forward to be closer to this community that I want to be involved in. Like I have enough faith to say, I'm going to meet E.T. I'm going to know him personally. I'm going to know his team personally, like their phone numbers, like just be able to pick up the phone and call these people because God, this is what I need. So even when I say, Lord, I'm asking for this. Now I need you to cultivate me and my mindset and what I'm doing to make sure that <clears throat> I'm prepared for when this moment comes and when this opportunity arises. If it's the fact that I need to sow something, I need to pay for something oh y'all know what happened like i started coughing <laughs> y'all know when people say oh it went down the wrong something in your throat and i'm like we only got one way food go down into our bodies so why are people talking like we got multiple ways that food go uh, but anyway <clears throat> um what was i saying y'all that if okay so if i'm asking god to put me in proximity obviously he has to prepare me and there's something that i need to be doing or like i have to have things in place something that I'm, i need to be doing there is something he's going to tell me to do and i need to be ready for it and even if it's something like paying 
the money to get in VIP. I have to have faith in that. If I got it, I have that faith that, okay, this is what I'm supposed to do because this is going to start to open doors for me to be in proximity and do what I'm asking. <clears throat> So I'm trusting God because that's what I know I really need now. Like you just get to the phone, the point where you realize that you are maturing, <clears throat> that you are maturing and um, you just begin to think differently. Like you begin to ask different questions. You begin to realize that okay this is what needs to change so what do i need to do or what do i need to ask for or what does this need to look like for me to be able to even get involved in this right <clears throat> so for instance eric thomas comes here um i know monthly to do some things at a church the church we went to to go to this event right and so, okay, I'm like, okay, do I need to start showing up at these events? Like, I just need to be following ET, following what he's doing, following whoever else is involved. And I'm just giving y'all an example of what the faith looks like. Like, you can't just sit around and be like, Lord, this is what I want or this is what I'm asking for, but you're not making steps. And I realized that this is what worked for me before. Like, if I wanted something or I wanted to be in community or proximity with people or just be seen for the right opportunity, I started to make moves differently i started to think differently <clears throat> and i began to ask myself different questions right so <clears throat> i'm like okay what do i need to do what does this need to look like you know i may not have the money to invest in this 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 but what else can i do to get closer to this thing that i'm asking you for so i can get answers right <clears throat> And I know that's what I need in this season. So there's nothing wrong. Let me go back. So there's nothing wrong with being in community with people who are on the same level with you. I think that that's good because that's still a certain level of accountability that you need. And there are different levels of accountability. Um, <clears throat> so it's like I have people who are at the same place that I am. They're asking the same questions they want to build. They try, you know, they're trying to establish themselves and what they're trying to do. And so that's good to have because it's like relatable and you can bounce ideas and you have this person that you can push and this person can push you to keep moving forward. But then you need to look for the wise counsel, right? Like the mentorship, the communities that are you know they've they've already accomplished what you're trying to do so even say for instance you have a goal that you want to make a hundred thousand dollars a month <clears throat> i'm like lord i know i can make a hundred thousand dollars a month um <clears throat> but i need to take steps right and Lord, I need to make a thousand dollars like let me just make that first thousand you know like and then let me make this next and this next and that's what multiplication looks like step by step I'm not saying that god can't like bam here go a hundred thousand dollars but it's a process to making a hundred thousand dollars a month like somebody was just saying on a video that i was watching and she gave a different concept of 100k her name is tiara j i love her channel um <clears throat> she's like a lifestyle vlogger mom and she's in business and stuff like that but she was saying a different perspective of multiplication and she was saying the thing about multiplication you get one in one right <clears throat> you got one times one that makes one then you got one times two which makes two right so she was like the multiplication is step by step so let me just start at one times one i got one all right let me get to one times two two one times three three like that's the multiplication part of it and i was like dang girl that's a whole word like you just gave me a whole different perspective on what multiplication looks like and that was confirming as well because i have been praying for that <clears throat> And so you take the steps to multiply. So I'm like, God, if I want to make 100K, what does that look like? What have you given me in my hands? And honestly, God has given me so many things, even currently what I have in my hands that he is telling me to work on and be diligent in is my wealth. Like there, I mean, when I tell you like millions of dollars, just not tangibly, technically it's tangibly in my hands because I have it. <clears throat> 
but I just don't see it like in my bank account yet but tangibly I have the $100,000 a month in my hands I just don't see it in my bank account yet and that's a whole word right there by itself so for instance lip gloss think about the beauty industry y'all I promise y'all I'm bringing it all together Think about the beauty industry and how much money is made every month. And there are so many different aspects to the beauty industry, right? So you got beauty, just lip stuff alone brings in billions of dollars a year. Then you have other things like the makeup, the hair, the nails, the, the what's the skin stuff? Es the estheticians and there's just so many different moving parts but this right here when you say god i want to make a hundred thousand dollars a month and, and you and he just like okay go ahead <laughs> i'm so busy looking at my bank account to see the hundred thousand dollars that i can't see that the hundred thousand dollars is right here in my hands already I just need to do what he's telling me to do, market it, put it out there so people can, in exchange, I can bless them with this lip gloss and they can bless me with some coins in my bank account, right? But I don't see tangibly I have it like this. I'm too busy trying to look at my bank account for the 100 to just see $100,000 when God is like, no, you need to put this out there. This is what gives you the hundred thousand dollars. So tangibly, you have it in your hands. So when God is like, when the the scripture says, um, He'll bless the works of our hands. What do you tangibly have in your hands? That's a blessing. And if He's saying He'll bless it, that means it's there for you because it's people. It's a blessing to other people that they are willing to exchange their money for it like they're willing to give you in exchange money for this lip gloss <laughs> y'all a whole word okay a whole word so if i'm saying god i want a hundred thousand dollars put me in community with people who have already did that you have given them the ability to create well starting up here and then you tangibly tangibly bless like you bless the works of their hands by them using what they had in their hands and they putting it out there and in exchange people are blessing them with their money for the blessing that i am giving them so if i want to give them the blessing of moisturized shiny lips like what i got right now right <clears throat> y'all see what i'm saying <laughs> this is why it'd be so important for me to talk this stuff out because proximity is everything and then also not just that it's like if i want to become you know wealthy in the beauty industry i have to put myself in community with people that are already doing it and find mentorship that's how it is so you have to pray for proximity like when you're doing something and you want it to bless you or you know that it's going to be something big and you see the vision you have to physically put yourself around the people that have already done it. And it doesn't mean that they are, they have to be in your industry exactly like your, your industry, but their mindsets are in the place where they've already done it. So they can tell you what to do, what not to do. Sometimes it's not even about them telling you what to do. It's the fact of like, you are in conversation with these people who think like this on the daily. So just communicating with people like this puts you at a whole nother level because you're not having the conversations that are down here. You are now in conversation with people who are up here. And it just makes you think differently. You act differently because these people got money, like a hundred thousand dollars a month. Oh, that you act different. <laughs> you move a little differently versus the people who are down here, who you are just you know holding accountable y'all all are trying to build like you move differently when you are able to move from here and communicate with people who are up here but also being god led holy spirit led okay so <clears throat> so that is what i'm on y'all like i feel like i'm getting back to um how crystal usually moves because one thing about me 
when I move in a way where it's like, okay, Lord, I'm ready to be in community with the people that I know I'm supposed to be in community with, it starts to happen for me. It starts to happen for me. I start making connections. I start... I'm not. I'm a person that's not afraid to reach out to people and ask them things, or ask them how can we connect, or ask them how can I do this, this, this. I've never been afraid to do that. But that's when I'm up here, like I'm thinking up here on this level. But when I end up coming back down, like Nehemiah, Nehemiah was like, I'm not coming down. But see, my problem was, I would I would come down off the ladder from building. But when I'm up on that ladder and I'm building and I'm focused and nothing can bring me down off the ladder, everything starts to happen for me. I start to connect with people. I got momentum going. Like everything is just good for me. And so I have to pay attention to that too, that that is what brings the proximity, like attracts the things that I'm praying for and I'm asking for. You know, so a man thinketh, so is he, right? And so... <clears throat> my mind is thinking up here and so that's what i begin to receive so you know the world says the law of attraction or you know manifestation and stuff like that but when god is manifesting like he's blessing me that's what it looks like i'm thinking up here on things above and not beneath okay and that's what puts you in proximity and the proximity is not just about the people, it's about environments as well. Like the environments that you are putting yourself in. Whew, so this is just a part one of my tea, okay? I'm, I'm just back, I got so much stuff to talk about. Uh, I gotta literally slow down and ask God to like, Lord, just help me lay it all out on paper so I can share with the people as you get me together okay um but yeah so that's a little bit of my tea for now i feel like i'm rushing and trying to get something out just because i'm out by myself like i just literally left my house and i find myself a lot like okay what can i do what can i get done really quick what can i you know because i don't get personal time for myself so even when I leave my house and I'm coming out with like just what I think is time, I'm not. I'm actually about to go in Walmart and get things for my house. <laughs> so this isn't really my like alone time. So when I'm thinking like that, I'm like, what can I talk about? What can I say really quick? What can I get done really quick? Like multitasking while I'm trying to think about a grocery list and all this stuff. So I've been thinking about all that and just the way that I have been like operating in my life. And it's a bit chaotic and I don't like it anymore. And then another thing too that attracts proximity is order. And so I need to be in order. I need to get organized. I need to like relieve myself of the capacity in my, like, like there's a, a, a space in my mind that is being taken up by just stuff because I'm always thinking about something when I could just have something in place a list of whatever like just to get it out of my head and, and like just onto paper somewhere and so I do brain dumps and stuff I don't do it enough but also something like this where it's like I'm going in the store and a lot of times I don't like going in the store without having a list because then I'll tend to like pick up this pick up that pick up this when I want to like every week have these things planned out where I know, okay, this week I'm going in the store. This is what I need to get when I go in here right now <clears throat> versus like, okay, I'm going in the store. Let me grab this. Oh, and I need this. Oh, and let me grab that too. Oh, and I need this too. Like I end up all over the store. I'll end up forgetting something and I'll end up going over budget. Like going in there and spending money that I didn't need to spend because I didn't have it out of my head and written down somewhere and organized so I'll know what I need to do. And so I'm not trying to be in an environment of chaos anymore. And if my mind is chaotic and out of order and just all over the place because I got so many moving parts, then <sighs> what proximity? Okay, because what am I in proximity with? Because I that's not going to put me in places where I need to be okay so I'm gonna end it there and I guess like my next couple of teas will be um just based off of this one and some other things so I'm gonna go so I could go in the store and get back home 
but that is my tea for right now i just wanted to share i feel like i spewed all of that out <laughs> um but it's all good i hope y'all got something from it and until next time